Ventures Venotala, a 42-year-old security guard from Marondera, was an ordinary hard-working Zimbabwean family man. He provided both financially and emotionally for his family as he worked at Little Zim Farm in Marondera. He lived at the farm with his family and went to work daily. His duty at the farm was to guard the farm's crops from animals and thieves. Because of the dangerous nature of his job, he was assigned a shotgun. He used the gun to scare away animals, especially baboons who loved to steal crops during harvest time. For those who might not know, a shotgun is one of the most deadly machine guns in existence. But what makes it so deadly? A shotgun sprays a cone of lead at the person that you are shooting at. The cone of lead splits and spreads out randomly. It means that the attacker will likely hit unless he can't aim properly or jacks really hard. This is the reason why shotguns are preferred in close range confrontation because there's a higher chance that you're gonna get hit unlike an assault rifle. On the evening of the 2nd of June 2019, Ventures returned home from a frustrating day of work at the fields carrying his weapon. It is unclear why he was allowed to knock off work with his firearm, but it seems like it was a common occurrence. Ventures had an 18-year-old son, Kundakwashi, and like most upper teens, he found it difficult to submit to any sort of authority. They usually got into confrontations about Kundakwashi's disrespectful nature, and the father was infuriated constantly. On this very night, he asked his son to bring him his bedroom keys in the lounge, and the boy, because of his rebellious behavior, went and took the keys and threw them at his father instead of handing them to him in his hands. This act is considered extremely rude, especially in our traditional culture here in Zimbabwe. This sparked a heated argument that escalated into a physical fight. Ventures wanted to fight his son like a man to show him that he was in charge. He vowed to not sleep until one of them had submitted. Kudakwasha, seeing that he would never win the fight, decided to flee and hide at his neighbor's house. His father followed closely, chasing after his son with his shotgun. After failing to catch up to his son, in anger, he aimed his weapon at his son and fired a single shot. The boy collapsed as soon as he was hit and fell unconscious. The father, overwhelmed with remorse and fear, ran into the bush to hide. The neighbors transported the young man to the hospital, but unfortunately was pronounced dead on arrival at Maron de la General Hospital. Ventures, who had been hiding in the nearby bush, was quickly apprehended by the police who attended the crime scene. The incident was reported as a murder case and police were still investigating the matter at the time. I have not found any records of his trial or sentencing and we patiently wait for justice. This tragic event underscores the importance of resolving disagreements peacefully and highlights the devastating consequences that can result in the use of violence to solve any problem. It's a sobering reminder of the need of patience and non-violence in our interactions with our teenagers. May his soul continue to rest in peace.